It's time for the national championship. We got Alabama Crimson Tide taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes down in Florida. I'm going to give you my prediction of who's going to win, and I'm going to tell you why. Just a What's good, everybody? This is Jay with Unfair Sports, where we try to take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. You've got your sports news and analysis from anywhere in the world, but you chose to ride with us, and we appreciate that. On this video, we're going to dive into the college football national championship. I'm not going to go too far into why they're never going to expand, but I do want to talk about this game because it's going to be a good one. should be a thriller. I'm going to explain why it's going to be a thriller and why it won't be a thriller. So let's first start off why it should be a thriller. Ohio State went out there, played, won six games this season. I mean, they didn't play a full season due to COVID and all the craziness that happened in 2020. And molly Clemson in the semifinal game. Now, let, let, let's let's look at this because Clemson was supposed to be better than this. They were supposed to be a national championship team. They've got the number one overall draft pick at quarterback with Trevor Lawrence. There is no chance. There shouldn't be a single chance that this team goes out there and loses to an Ohio State team who has a very questionable secondary and a quarterback who has looked subpar in the last few games. Justin Fields had a career game against them. Career game. And just molly whopped him. Then he got hit. I swear to God that man probably broke at least three ribs with the hit that he took. Wincing and grimacing as he was going up the field and still continued to drive them up. Ramp score. They beat Clemson 49-28. to And that's the crazy part because when you start thinking about the college football playoffs, our complaint is that nobody else gets a chance. But if you really look at who played in, this, in the semifinals, Clemson and Notre Dame got blown out. College football is top-heavy. Parity does not exist. It's a parody. Don't believe it. But, like I said, I'm not going to argue in regards to expansion and why I think other teams deserve the opportunity to get blown out by these teams. But Clemson deserve to be there. They should be there. They were great all season. They were wearing everybody out in their conference. That's how it should be. You win your conference, you should be in the tournament. If you can destroy everybody that you play against on your side, you deserve to go ahead and move forward. Because it's really hard to go undefeated in college football irregardless of what conference you're in and who you're playing against. Because the talent's about the same in your your conference. So outside of that, with Ohio State playing the way they did, Alabama, of course, demolishing Notre Dame as we expected. We knew that Notre Dame had no chance. This game is shaping up to be a lot better than what you guys expect. Mainly because there's not a bunch of film on Ohio State right now. So Alabama's going to go out there. They're going to play their game. They're going to do what they do best. They're going to evaluate their opponent. And it feels like Nick Saban pulls a Bill Belichick and always takes away your best weapon. His defense is focuses on that. And so this gonna, this, that's where the game's going to be good. It's going to be a good chess match between Ryan Day and Nick Saban as they try to figure out how to go back and forth. Justin Fields is showing that he is a pro. He's a star out there on the football field. So he should be able to do enough to carry this team. They should be able to compete. They both have enough talent on both sides to to make it work. Ohio State showed against Clemson. Their offensive line and defensive line are really strong. They got strong line play. And strong line play is what gets you through the playoffs. So them big boys start leaning on you. They start wearing you out and exhausting you. That's where the rubber meets the road. Now, this is why the game is not going to be close. Even though Ohio State was at a 
disadvantaged due to not playing as many games, Alabama basically walked away with just about every award you really want. Let's go down the list. So, Alabama walked away with the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith, who also won the Fred Belindikoff Award, who's given to the nation's top receiver. Smith is the first wide receiver to win the Heisman since Desmond Howard in, what was that, 1991? 92? 91? And his quarterback, Mac Jones, got the Davy O'Brien. Left tackle, Alex Leatherwood got the Outland Award. Running back Najee Harris got the Dope Walker, nation's top running back. And their center, Landon Dickerson, got the Remington Award given to the nation's best center. My point is they just walked away with all these awards. Do you really expect Ohio State to compete with this great of a setup? I know both teams have a bunch of five stars on both sides, but Alabama has been killing it in the recruiting for years. Check out my guy R.J. Young and his uh, college football analysis and, and channel where he breaks a lot of this stuff down, and it's, it's mind-blowing what Alabama can, can do. And even with that, Devontae Smith isn't really considered their best wide receiver. That's Jalen Waddle, who's supposed to come back for this game. So... What if Ohio State still has a questionable secondary that I don't think those questions were answered against Clemson. I just felt like they were a better team on that on that evening. Do you believe that Ohio State's going to be prepared for the speed and power that you see out of Alabama and their five stars? Whose five stars are better? That's what you got to ask yourself. And I guess I play both sides of the fence on it, but if I'm going to be real, I don't see things going to be close. I think that Alabama is going to go out there and they're just going to run the game. They're going to dominate. They have all the weapons to do it. And of course, Ohio State dealing with COVID situations, so we don't even know fully who's going to play. And if that's the situation and they decide not to postpone the game, yeah, this is going to be just as ugly as the other ones. So, hey, you guys got your playoff, right? even though it's another ugly one.